were exploring and stealth camping in an abandoned asylum. We are currently setting up our setup. We got some hammocks tonight and some zero degree sleeping bags. Uh, wish us luck. We're about to make some food. I'll show you that when we start. We finish setting up before it gets dark. Alright guys, today we're going to hunker down with, we're going to cut up these sausages with these mozzarella family sized raviolis. And of course we had to get the vodka sauce. That's going to be good. We're just trying to wait until the uh, canister warms up so we can actually start cooking. Okay, we're going to try to attach the fuel canister to the stove. These things are a little tricky when it's cold. And tonight it's going down to about about 20 degrees and these things start acting weird around that temperature. So It's definitely cold. Yeah, it's cold tonight. So we're going to see if we could get some gas rolling out of this thing. Let's see. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing, sure, huh? Make sure it's on tight. That's the one thing. Oh, yeah, we got fire. Sweet. Okay, we got a little boil. Yes, we do. Not the strongest knife to be used for this. Just a camping, camping knife. Yeah, it sounds pretty horrible. Yeah, these things are pretty tough. You wanna try a different knife? Yeah, I just don't wanna use the one I have that's dirty. I have one. Okay. I mean, this is. Alright, so we switched knives. <laughs> Got a better knife here. A little sharper. Maybe if I hold the bowl, so yeah, that'll so help much. a little bit better. <laughs> These sausages are quite slippery here. Just don't stab me. Try not to. I got a first aid kit. Trying to be as sanitary as we can here in an abandoned asylum filled with many chemicals <laughs> that are airborne. Like <laughs> our food is literally surrounded by asbestos right now. Yeah, but it's covered, so we're doing as best as we can, I would say. As best as we can. Yeah, there's a there's a, a pun for you. Alright, we're gonna That looks real good. Mm hmm Let's put this down. Do a little stir. Oh yeah. That looks amazing. Oh yeah, this is the best type of food to have right now. It's gonna be nice and hot. Oh yeah. It's looking good. Well guys, it's time to eat. Okay, let's explore this asylum at night a little bit. It's very cold. Got some noises in the background. Sets the mood. So this little stack is like kind of similar to what we're sleeping in. Okay, so we're inside of a building now. Hey, we should bring this back to camp. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That chair's nice too. Got some patient shoes on the ground.
This must have been a warehouse. Get the tools on the wall. This is where it gets pretty treacherous. All right, my turn. Oh, we made it to that part. <laughs> This is like a corridor between different buildings. All kinds of light bulbs on the ground. That's weird. Yeah. Yellow and orange and red. This is the connector hallway that separates the wing that we just came from, which was the male wing. And then where we're sleeping tonight is the female wing. Okay. And this room that we're heading to right now, in between the two wings, there's a cafeteria? This was the original dining hall. Wow. Yeah, with the hardwood floor. Look at this, guys. We should honestly just camp in here. This is beautiful. Yeah. It would be warmer. Go ahead in the basement. You lead the way, sir. Wow, these are like padding for the children or something. I don't even know. A relic of the past. Got some writing on the wall up there. It's just different things that were in different rooms. <laughs> That's one way to warm up. Who needs a Peloton? You know, we do the right thing and uh, we can hook up some electricity to that and warm ourselves up real well. All right guys, time to head back to camp for the night and hunker down, because it is cold. All right, we're back at our cozy, cozy camp. It's time to get in bed, try to catch some Z's. All right guys, it's time to hunker down. This is home for tonight. It should do do me well. Hopefully I can stay warm. Until tomorrow. Peace. Good morning guys. It's like 6 a.m. It's freezing. Uh, I'm just trying to wait till the sun gets up so I can warm up. But that was a rough night of sleep. I don't know if I slept at all. How'd you sleep, Devin? Uh, I slept for maybe a few hours until you told me you hit the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. This um, hammock fell during the night and <laughs> I hit the ground. It was pretty cool. Okay. Let's get up and get dressed. The sunrise is looking really nice. Can't wait to go explore some more. It's just really cold. It's only 26 degrees. It's pretty cold. Pretty cold. All right, so today we are exploring the psych center. We, uh. We had a rough night of sleep, to say the least. But now, we get to enjoy this place. Let's see what we can find. 
in this absolutely just incredible place. We're currently in the mail ward, which had lots and lots of fire damage back end. Do you know when it was? Um, I think it was the 90s. Yeah? Yeah, the place was abandoned in the 70s, and I think in the 90s there, were the, there was the fire. Yeah, so it's really hard to walk around this one, but we will show you what we can. Check out this piece of tin ceiling that has fallen. Really ornate. Like this is what how much detail they put in just a ceiling. It's not a, no one of those drop ceilings. This is a real deal here. Check out these beautiful windows, guys. All the primary colors. Looking nice. And it's a little treacherous getting up here. Everything is just collapsed in this building due to the fire. Wow, that's soft. Some of these buildings are in pretty decent shape. Some are almost ruins. So apparently we have to be careful walking around this grass because we could just fall into a huge tunnel and probably die. Here's a good example of ruins. So all these rooms would be different patient rooms all through there. And this is still the the men's ward that we were in, first of all. Notice how this building has the dome completely torn off. Got an old hospital chair here. Apparently I'm gonna join Devin up here. Let me climb this up. All right, so I made it to that building. We have more destroyed building. And, oh, look at these. Got some lovely chairs. And look at that window behind it. Oh, it's so nice. This place is really like a hotel. Look, it still has paper towels. Nice. I put my right foot on the stump to get balance. Uh, to left, yep. Check out this neat window. I love that so much. And then this is an elevator shaft and they like i don't know knocked the wall down here we got a band semi here anything inside of it uh, empty. empty it's not fun all right so we found the morgue gotta love the morgue very creepy. And next to the morgue, we got the, I think, drainage table. I don't know. And this weird Doctor Who looking thing. Got all kinds of things over here. There must have been some experiments. 
Huh. Let's go check on further in this. So we're heading upstairs in the morgue building. And this whole stair set is shaking as we walk on it. Got some Christmas decorations. And this looks like some sort of lab. Yeah, they probably stored samples in this old tub or this old refrigerator here. Over there. There's definitely samples in the drawer. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a cool one. Yeah, frozen food chest. It has this weird holes here. That's cool. That's old. That's an old fridge. Shock hazard. Interesting. Sanitization for sure. And this room is basically empty. Got some stuff laying around. Alright, it wasn't that empty. There's a dumbwaiter where they would transfer these samples down to the morgue. Check out this building, guys. Wow. It's a big M shape now. All right, so we're popping into a building that we actually walked through at night last night, but we didn't see this. Now, I don't believe it would be in this building. I think this is a storage, but this is like an operating kind of electroshock table here. And here is what looks to be the electric shock machine. Mm -hmm. You can look right here, the main switch, the power control. So they would just... Cool. That's power. <laughs> All right, let's head over here. Pretty dangerous. Oh, we got some sewing machine. All right, so let's hop into this room. There's holes all over the ground. But there's also a bunch of patient clothing. So that's pretty cool. So they would nail the lamps down to the dressers so the patients couldn't throw them or hurt each other with them. That's crazy. So this is now the woman's ward. And it has also seen a lot of damage. So right here is the admin building. This is the back of it, and it's very beautiful. This building they're actually going to save, unlike the rest of them. Massive. Oh, I love that door. Look at this, guys. It's like a big pressure room. Cool. And here's the other side. Really cool design. So we're taking our last walk through the uh, grounds of the asylum before we leave. We're almost at 24 hours, so basically this has been a 24-hour challenge here. We're walking past what used to be the power plant. Looks like uh had a lot of windows at once. People blow them out. Alright guys, that's the front of admin. Sadly we can't get in there right now because they are working on it. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this format, I will do it a lot more. 
Camping was fun, even though I really froze myself pretty good. And until next time, peace.